Hello everyone, we will talk about our subject human resource management. Our main reference is the book of human resource management for Gary Dessler, published by Pearson. Our syllabus will cover introduction to human resource management, job analysis and personnel planning and recruitment, employee selections, training employees, and performance management and appraisal. First, we will deal with the human resource management concept, how it relates to the whole management process and human resource management main functions. We all know that the organization consists of a group of people who work together in order to achieve common goals. And the management process consists of four main functions, as you know, planning, organizing, leading, and controlling. And we add here the staffing function. The planning function goes for setting goals and the plans to be followed in order to achieve the goals. The organizing function deals with organizing people and resources within the structure in order to achieve the assigned tasks. Staffing function is to deal with all people aspects in the organization. Leading function considers with the employee's moral in order to motivate employees to achieve the target. And the controlling function is to compare results with the standards in order to correct any deficiencies occur. For people aspects, we deal with the staffing functions. This function may include acquiring talented employees, training new, and new hires and current employees, creating performance appraisal system, compensating employees and attending to concerns like labor relations, health and safety and fairness conditions. Human resource management through its functions deals with all people aspects in the organization in order to facilitate the efficient and effective use of employees in order to achieve both organizational and individual goals. We have many specialists who work in the human resource management department in the organization and responsible for achieving its main functions. This is shown in the following two figures. Human resource management is of a great importance to the organization, as it can help the organization to save costs through avoiding making personal mistakes like hiring wrong person or going through unfair labor practice. Human resource management also helps the organization to improve its, impo uh, its performance and affect, affect positively their organizational effectiveness. According to this categorization, we have two types of authorities in the organization. We have line authority and staff authority. Line authority to direct the work of others and responsible for achieving organizational results and staff authority. Managers with staff authority help and advise the line managers in performing their main duties. The responsibility for achieving human resource management functions is shared between the line managers and the HRM department and its manager who has staff authority relative to the organization as a whole that the line managers de deal with many aspects of human resource management functions like job placement, orientation and training, managing performance of the department employees, motivating employees, and care about safety and healthy conditions. The human resource managers have three main categories of duties in the organization. First, line function or line authority with an HR department and staff functions with the staff authority to advise on hiring, training, evaluating, rewarding and firing employees inside the organization and cooperate coordinative function or functional authority to ensure the implementation of human resource policies and coordinates personnel activities. The human resource management functions cannot be isolated from the, orga the organizational environment. So, Human resource management functions are being affected with many trends like globalization, technology, changing in work nature, and workforce demographics. 
These trends affect human resource management functions and practices in many ways, like for example the training function for uh, training employees for different dealing with different cultures and languages, recruitment function through recruitment via the internet and the intr intranet, compensating employees and the changing of the benefits package and accommodation costs. The different HRM practices like delivering salaries through ATMs, electronic monitoring for employees' performance, fingerprint for recording and uh, attendance.